Hi everyone, it's Naomi, and today I want to share with you one of my all-time favorite yoga flows. Now this is one of my favorite flows to do when I need a quick jolt of energy. The sequence really takes a little bit less than 15 minutes. It's twisty, it's sweaty, it's a ton of fun, and the best part is there are zero chaturangas. Not even a single downward facing dog. So this is a fantastic flow if you have a wrist drama and you really can't put any weight in your hands, or if you just don't like chaturanga for whatever reason. Um, it's a really great flow if you like a creative sequence that's a little bit unconventional and asks you to think a little bit more on your mat instead of just sort of go by, uh, by you know, like what you expect. Okay, so expect the unexpected with, the, with this flow and more than anything, know that you're going to have a lot of fun. So let's get started. Rest your hands on your thighs and close your eyes just for a moment. Full breath in and out. You'll rely a lot on your breath in this sequence. So just anchor in to your breath and into your seat. The twists are great poses to teach you how to find your center when everything around you is trying to distract you or pull your focus or just pull you off. Anchor in. Be steady. Even if you wobble, even if you lose your balance, be steady within yourself and use your breath to guide you back to that steady place within you. And as you inhale, reach your arms up, straight up overhead, and as you exhale, open them wide and twist to the right. Bring your left hand to your right knee, right fingertips behind you. And on an inhale, sweep your arms back up, reach towards the center, and as you exhale, open your arms wide, twist to the left, the right hand to your left knee. Left fingertips behind you. Inhale back to center, open your arms up, reach towards the sky. Exhale, take them wide and twist to the right again. Left hand to right knee, right fingertips behind you. On an inhale, back to center, arms up. As you exhale, twist open into the left again, right hand to left knee, left fingertips behind you. One more time, inhale, reach up. As you exhale, open your arms wide, twist to the right, left hand to your right knee. And then inhale, back up to center, reach straight up. Exhale, open your arms wide, twist to the left, right hand to your left knee. And inhale, reach up, all the way back, and then bring your palms together in front of your heart. Open your eyes. Let's do this. Come up, stand at the front of your mat. Place your feet hip width apart and stand evenly on your two feet. Inhale, reach your arms straight up. Keep your legs strong and as you exhale, fold all the way forward and give your knees a little bit of a bend if you need to. Take a full breath in. <sighs> full breath out, bring your hands to your shins, right to the meatiest part of your shins. Press your hands in firmly. With your hands pressed in, fill up through the middle of your back, lift through your belly so you create more space and fold a little bit more deeply. Inhale, fold. Exhale completely, and then inhale as you rise all the way up and reach up. And as you exhale, bring your palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, open your arms wide, twist to the right. Then inhale, reach your arms back up to center. Exhale, open your arms wide, twist to the left. Inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, fold all the way forward and reach for the floor. You take a full breath in, full breath out. And then bring your left hand to your right shin, right hand to your hip. Press your hand against your right shin. And use that pressure to revolve your belly and chest to the right. And maybe extend your right arm up, maybe not, totally up to you. Take a full breath in here. Take a full breath out, bend your knees, lower your hips, good to toss them up, chair pose, dig into your heels, inhale fully. And then exhale, fold forward again. Right hand to your left shin, left hand to your hip. Give your legs a good squeeze as you twist your belly and chest to the left. Or you keep your hand at your hip, or extend your left arm up. Inhale fully. Exhale, bend your knees, lower your hips, Sutkatasana, chair pose, dig in. And inhale here. As you exhale, lift your left heel and step left leg back into a high lunge. 
Okay, firm up your left leg as you inhale. So your left leg's gotta be strong. As you exhale, twist open towards the right. Okay, your left knee's gonna wanna bend if it does, no problem. But use that bend to lift up through your belly and then push back through your left leg and stretch forward through your right. And inhale, sweep your arms up. Now as you exhale, twist open to the left. So you've really got to work your legs here. Inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, shift forward again. You can bring your palms in front of your chest if you like and step forward, which can toss them up to your pose. Full breath in. Exhale. Step your right leg back. High lunge, warrior one. Back heel lifted. Full breath in. Exhale, twist open to the left. And keep your legs super strong. If you need to bend your right knee, that's fine. Plug in the more to your core so you anchor into your center and then stretch out. Arms and legs. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist open to the right. And inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, step forward again, Utkatasana. Okay, push down with your legs. Inhale, rise up with your chest. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Catch your breath as you inhale. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to the left, open your arms wide. And inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. And inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Forward bend. Take full breath in. Full breath out. Another full breath in. And as you exhale, twist to the left. Bring your right hand to your left shin, left hand to your hip. Okay, inhale, fold. Exhale, extend your left arm up. Okay, now bend your knees like you're coming into Utkatasana. Okay, keep your uh, right hand on your left shin and step your right leg back. Whoa. And then you slide up. Keep your right hand on your left knee, left arm behind you. So you're using that pressure, push against. Good, inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, left hand to the inside of your left knee, right arm behind you. So you're using that pressure, that resistance to anchor in. Inhale, ooh, reach your arms up. As you exhale, reach forward for your right shin. Step up again into that twisted pose. Straighten your legs and then fold. Full breath in here. Full breath out. Left hand to your right shin, right hand to your hip. Press your hand into your shin, shin into your hand. Use that resistance to extend your right arm. You take a full breath in. Exhale, bend your knees. So like you're doing it to Katasana. Use that so you can step your left leg back. Slide your left hand up to the outside of your right knee. Press hand into knee, knee into hand. Reach, right arm up. Oh yeah. And then inhale, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, open the twist. Bring your right hand to the inside of your right knee, left arm behind you. And take a full breath in. Try not to get pulled off center. Full breath out. Inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, reach forward. Left hand to the outside of your right shin. And step up. Utkatasana. And we'll fold into that twisted forward bend. Full breath in. Oh, full breath out. And inhale as you rise all the way up and reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, open into your twist to the right. With steady legs, inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, open to the left. Inhale, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, fold forward, Utanasana. Full breath in. Full breath out. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right shin, right hand to your hip. And press your hand into your shin, shin into your hand, revolve a little bit more deeply, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, lift your left heel, step it back. Now climb yourself up so you have your left hand on the outside of your right knee, and then slide your left elbow down. Bring your right hand on top of your left. Push your right hand down into your left hand. It's a deeper twist. So you push your right hand into your left hand. Firm up your legs. See if you can twist a little bit deeper. Maybe revolve your belly and your chest upward so you can see the sky. Or you imagine that you can through the ceiling. 
So take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Now here's the fun part. Look forward. Step up, Ujjkatasana, with your hands still on the twist. Full breath in. Exhale, unwind and fold forward. Inhale, fully expect the unexpected. <laughs> full breath out. Right hand to the outside of your left shin. Left hand to your hip. And twist. Full breath in here. Extend your left arm. Then bend your knees. Lift your right heel. Dig into your left to find your anchor as you step your right leg back. Slide your right hand up to the outside of your left knee. And then take your elbow down. Bring your left hand on top of your right hand. And push. Push your left hand down into your right hand. Push your feet into the floor. And from that anchor in your center, turn your belly and chest up towards the sky. You inhale fully. As you exhale, look down towards your left foot and push off. Step forward into this revolved with Katasana. Full breath in. Full breath out, unwind and fold. Uttanasana, forward bend. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Root down through your legs. Inhale as you rise all the way up. Reach up. As you exhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest. One more. <laughs> One more. So we're going to add to it. and make it a little bit more exciting. Surprises are ahead. Inhale fully. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, bend your knees. Sit low. Ujjkatasana. Bring your palms together and twist. Hook. Left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Push your right knee into your left hand and squeeze your knees towards one another. Your left knee is going to want to pop forward, but squeeze your right knee towards your left knee and sort of keep it in check. And keep yourself in your center. Lift your left heel. Look down. Step back. Whoa. Quote Joey Lawrence. Whoa. <laughs> Only like a handful of people are going to get that. That's okay. Blossom fans, unite. Okay, the squeeze your left elbow against your right knee, right knee against your elbow and the twist. Now, cool part, slide up. Remember this one? Hand to the outside of your knee, reach your right arm behind you. And take a full breath in, a full breath out. You know, reach your arms up and stretch up. And then we're gonna go backwards, open it out. Okay, so you open out wide. And then bring your right hand to the inside of your right knee so you stretch a little bit more. Then make it a little crazier. Bring your elbow down, palms together, and push. And take a full breath in, full breath out. You unwind, look forward, step up. Ujjkatasana and fold. Oh, yeah. Full breath in, full breath out. Surprise. <laughs> Another full breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, which can toss in the palms together. Hook your right elbow outside of your left knee. And notice, see that right knee wants to pop forward. Pull it back and squeeze your left knee towards your right knee. And that'll give you a lot more space to twist. Lift your right heel up, inhale. Exhale, right leg back. You press your right elbow against your left knee, knee against your elbow, and twist deeply. Take a full breath in. Full breath out now. Unwind it, slide up. Bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee, left arm behind you. And then reach, right arm up. Inhale, your arms up, and then open it up. Into that twist, keep your back heel lifted. Try not to just turn wide out. And then bring left hand to the inside of your left knee, right arm behind you. And then slide your elbow down. Push, right hand into left hand, your little bottle. That's the case, stay in your core and in your center. Full breath in. Good full breath up, and then surprise, turn into a wide leg forward bend and fold forward. You keep your hands off the floor, bend your knees, shift over towards your right leg, and then come through center, shift over to left, and then come through center, bend your right knee again. You can either lightly place your fingertips on the ground, or bring your forearm, your left forearm on your thigh, and extend your right arm up. Full breath in. And then as you exhale back, your center shift over to the left, and either put your right fingertips on the floor, or your forearm on your thigh, and extend your left arm up totally up to you. Full breath in. Full breath out. 
back to center, wiggle your feet a little bit closer together, start a little wider than you width apart. Interlace your fingers behind your back. All of those exhales longer, <sighs> steadier. Give your elbows a little bit of a bend. You hook your hands, the fist of your hands, to the outside of your right hip. Release your right hand. Place your right fingertips down. Now you've got your left hand right about in your right thigh. Twist. Full breath. In. Breath out, unwind. We clasp, stretch up, fold. We're going to take the fist of your hands to the outside of your left hip. And give your knees a little bit of a bend if you need to. That's totally fine. And then release your left fingertips to the floor. And twist. And your right hand might be holding onto your left thigh. It might be up against your back. Pull your shoulder back. And unwind. Come on back to center. And fold. And then very carefully, come on down to your knees. So you're going to do one more just tiny, tiny little pose. A little bit of a back bend. We give your elbows a little bit of a bend. Squeeze your legs towards one another and lift your chest. So you don't have to go very far. Now, I'm not saying reach down towards your heels or anything like that. Okay, you don't want to pull too sharply on your shoulders. Press into your feet, lift up your chest. And then reach your right hand for your right ankle, bend your elbow. With your elbow bent, lift up your chest. Then extend your left arm alongside your ear. Use your legs just as powerfully as you did. In those twists, and bring yourself back up and switch arms. Bring your left hand to your left ankle. If it doesn't get there, get your hand at your hip. Okay, you don't have to reach your ankle. Left hand at your ankle, bend your elbow, lift through your chest, and extend to your right arm alongside your ear. If that doesn't feel good, hand behind your head. So lots of options here. Hand behind your head is really great support for your neck. So if your neck needs more support, and behind your head. And come all the way up. Sit back on your heels for just a moment. We got one more. So pause here. Close your eyes. And come on back up. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Okay, same as before. And this time, I'll hook. Hook the fist of your hands to the outside, the outside of your left hip. Okay, you can also do this seated on your heels. Okay, so if you want a little bit less of a back bend, all you would do is bring your left hand to the floor and lean back against your forearms, lift your chest. If you're up more in camel pose, lean back still and give yourself a little bit more of an opening through your shoulders. And you've got your forearm against your back, which gives you some really good support. And then come on back up. We'll reunite and reclasp your hands. Pop them over to the other side. Squeeze your legs inward, chest up. Start to lean back. Release your right hand to your right ankle. Chest up. Back on your heels, reach your arms out in front of you, come into child's pose. And walk your arms over to the right. And just give yourself a little bit of a stretch through the left side of your body. And then walk back to center, over to the left. Stretch to the right side of your body. And come back to center. 
Yes, for three more breaths. That's it. How do you feel? What did you think? So sun salutations, vinyasa, flow, without chaturanga can be super fun and super creative. And I hope that this little class gave you a taste of that. Um, it definitely reminds me of all the really fun ways that we can move without putting our hands on the floor. Um, like I said, this is one of my favorites. I hope that you really enjoyed it too. I definitely had a good time. As always, if you dig this class and you want more like it, please click on that small button on the right side of the screen so that you can subscribe to all of these wonderful classes and get them delivered directly to your inbox every single Monday morning when they are released. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you, and I love hearing how my classes made you feel and what else you'd like to see. So give me some feedback, share the love, and I look forward to hanging out with you again on the mat room soon. Bye.